What's up, YouTube? It's Spencer Sweet again. Uh, today is Monday, the uh, 10th of June. Graduated in five days. Um, yeah, it's crazy. Uh, just chilling out, kind of chill out to, for the morning, and now I'm about to start on my last paper. Hopefully I can get that done by tomorrow, maybe? I'm not the best writer, so yeah, working on it. But uh, today I want to talk about... Um, just gratefulness uh, kind of reflection off of yesterday um, and it's just and I got a message from uh, one of somebody that was on my team saying uh, or not saying but thinking that or they came they think that they came off uh, ungrateful and I didn't really uh, think so but uh, yeah I just wanted to talk about it today so uh, gratefulness. Um, gratefulness is a very, uh, recently I've been changing my thoughts about gratefulness and, and also thinking about what privileges I have. Um, you know, yes, I'm a black American, so there's certain things that, uh, certain things in my world that other people don't have to deal with. Um, just like any other race, uh, in, in the world, I mean, there's supposed to, there's norms and things. Also, there's systems in place and things like that. Uh, I'm not really here to talk about that stuff. I'm talking about uh, the pro the other privilege the well privileges of um, being you know being in America, being uh, you know in a place of which I can uh, I can try to succeed. Um, and also just, you know, talking about my privilege of having a, a family that is, uh, kind of, or still together, um, meaning like my parents are together, uh, you know, I have my grandmothers in my life, uh, you know, and that's changed my outlook on a lot of things. Um, so yeah, I mean, just reflection wise of it, um, with my grandmother in my life, you know, it's becoming, she's, her health is kind of failing currently. Um, so it, it sucks, uh, she was supposed to come up for graduation in five days, but, um, she just, I mean, she couldn't take the, you know, do the eight hour ride or the plane ride, um, you know, and that's the last thing I want, so, uh, but it's good, I mean, I'll see her later on, like, next month, because I move out, uh, and I'm gonna go back home for a couple months, or weeks, so, anyway, um, but having that, having that old way you know, talk, being able to talk to somebody that's lived in a different time and uh, see how crazy it was for people just, you know, 50 years ago, you know, 60 years ago, uh, when my, you know, my grandmother was an adult, right? And then going back to when she was my age, um, you know, what she's like 90, so that's, uh, I mean, like six, yeah, sixty, yeah, sixty years ago, um, about and uh, just thinking about the like how crazy it was for her. You know, she uh, she's the my only living relative or my only living grandparent is my uh, my uh, black grandmother on my dad's my dad's mother. So my dad is black. Um, and just talking about how it was to live in the South, and then they moved to Chicago. Uh, but the thing is, like, you know, just, but without the race thing, just how people lived back then. Um, people just didn't have as much stuff, and it's, it's kind of interesting how we get accustomed as people to actually change, like, we're, we're, we change, we adapt so quickly to comfort, um, and, I mean, and not comfort, uh, we actually adapt, yeah, we, we adapt qu quicker to comfort, uh, cause it's a lower energy, um, you know, just like stop working out for freaking two weeks and see how fast, you know, it deteriorates, um, but, uh, and comfort, uh, yeah, anyway, so, um, yeah, it's just being grateful, uh, you know, it's the stuff that we don't have to deal with, right, it's the stuff like, um, you know, our cars are better, right? So I get to, I have a car that, that is, you know, pr most likely going to last me a long, long time. You know, uh, my, uh, flights are better and they're cheaper. 
right? So I can fly and travel the world and not, you know, and, and that's a possibility for me. Um, you know, and uh, what else? Going to school. Going to it's more expensive to go to school now, but the fact of which schools were weren't really accepting uh, people that looked like me at in a uh, you know back in the day. I mean, they, like I don't know if I would have been able to come to UC Santa Cruz and uh, and study video game design sixty years ago. Probably not. Well, yeah. Um, so there's a lot of privilege that I have, you know, uh, understanding and just, and through that privilege just makes me grateful. Right. Uh, you know, my, my parents might not be the best with money, but they still, you know, went to school. So I'm not a first generation school student. So, but, so they knew how to, uh, how to just go, go to school. Right. Like it, like there's a lot of crazy stuff that I did. I took for granted when I was coming to school, like, oh, yeah, financially, just go and like fill out the paperwork and whatever, because they knew that already. But then people that I've uh, tutored in the past in math and things are first generation and they haven't they've never you know had to deal with that stuff. And their parents haven't, you know, so that's why mentorships and things like that are super important. Um, and inclusivity is in super important because it just kind of helps the you know, level of playing field a little bit. Um, so, you know, with that, uh, being grateful, you know, for being able to, uh, you know, like having the military be, it, there's a lot of uh, friction or pain points that the military has given me, and we've talked about it before, but at the same time, I can get out and I'm in a country that the government can pay me and pay the school enough money so me I can go to school, right? I mean, I've been in school for eight years, and you know, I've I've only really had to come out of pocket, quote unquote, for, uh, for eight, uh, four of those, right? The rest of them were you know getting paid uh, the GI bill, post nine eleven GI bill. So um, it's it's all about what we have, right? If you go to a different country, um, and uh, some countries have better things and some countries have worse things, right? I mean, it's it's just what it is. Uh, but if you go to a different country, uh, especially like a poorer country, right? Like when I was in Iraq, you know, I just realized like this this is how other people live, right? It's it, it's not it's not a good or bad thing, right? I mean, it's I think it's a um, I think like extreme uh, I mean extreme violence and things. Yes, that's that's uh, a you know, objectively bad, right? It's not, you know, nobody except for the crazy people want to live in extreme violence all the time. Um, but, you know, radical, radical people, you know, that are coming in and just wanting to destroy and have their way of life. And that's the only way, right? That's not what uh, America is supposed to be about. Um, you know, so, uh, but you know, going to different countries and seeing how people live, it kind of brought me to like understand and appreciate America more. Um, you know, I love, I love this country. Like, I think that, uh, it is the best time, uh, ever to be alive, especially in the U S yes, it's, it's freaking crazy and things like that. And, uh, we can, you know, politics are crazy, but the thing is that like, think about what the slaves went through, right? Think about what. Um, even like if you're uh, white, like think about what um, you know the settlers had to go through, right? Like getting on wagons and you know going across and dying of dysentery, right? Oregon Trail type stuff, right? Like how how lucky are we currently to be in this this generation, right? Um, there are problems. I'm not gonna say, and they're 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 unique problems to this world and um, unique problems to humanity and things like that. Uh, but the, the comfort that we have versus the comfort that, you know, was back then, uh, and I can rant, I don't know how long I've been ranting on it, but, um, my thing is just being grateful, right? Like I've, uh, I mean, coming back to kind of what the theme of it is, uh, you know, during, during this quarter, during last quarter, and then, um, you know, this entire year, pretty much, uh, the first quarter I didn't have a team. But then the next quarter, I, I, you know, I got a team around me and then we started making making thread um, and thinking about how grateful I am for people to 
give me that chance and put that trust into me. Um, yes, we didn't, you know, I, I, we didn't hit the mark as I would want to. Uh, but the thing is that I am extremely grateful for these people, right? I, I mean, I, I've got some really good friends now because of the, uh, them willing to do it. And, um, you know, and the thing is that you can live, you know, and, and looking at other people's mindsets that are online, um, you know, I, I like watch Gary V. I I watch, um, other people, I forget their names, but gratefulness is one of the key kind of things that, uh, seems like it's, it's a, it's a good thing, right? Like it's, it's a good emotion to have, uh, you know, being grateful for things. So, uh, just try to be more grateful. You know, I'm trying to be more grateful. Just, I don't think there's over gratefulness. Um, you know, there obviously don't like say, you know, I'll be grateful and like, but it being bad, right? Like, you know, oh, you're in an abusive relationship. Um, you know, oh, he, I'm grateful that he's, he loves me or she loves me. That's not, that's not gratefulness, right? I mean, that's, that's something else. But at the same time, uh, being grateful for, you know, just people and the, and where you are and things like that, uh, not, not to, not to lessen your life situation, uh, because, you know, I, like, I, I'm grateful because I, I don't, I didn't have to grow up in the hood, right? I, my dad's, you know, I, I, I was, uh, six or seven, I forget my age. But then uh, my dad saw that there's the crime was crazy in Chicago area, uh, Glenwood. Um, and then my my dad was like, hey, we're moving. And we moved to Oregon. Right. Uh, was it is it was it great? I mean, I was one of the only black people in Oregon at the time, uh, you know, but the thing is that uh, I I didn't have to deal with that side. Right. Of humanity until a little bit later, um, you know, the the craziness. So. Um, you know, and yeah, so the, um, the whole point of today was just to kind of talk about how grateful I'm, you know, and how grateful, how that mindset can kind of change everything to, uh, so, cause negative talk is something crazy, right? And I, and I do it a lot. Um, so my suggestion is just try to combat negative talk with logic. Oh, that's what I've been finding. And also, uh, like, oh, you're the stupidest person ever, right? That's what I say in my brain. I'm like, no, no, I'm not. Like, it's cool. Like, you know, you're not stupid. You, you know, you just are bad at this thing, right? Like, I'm about to write a paper. I'm super bad at writing academic papers. Um, so I get help with it, right? Um, but, uh, you know, and that's my logical through it is, like, I'm bad at this. But, you know, I can't be good at everything, right? No human can be good at faking everything. Um, you know, that's part of the thing. So, um, you know, and yeah, so negative self-talk and also uh, just being grateful kind of brings your mood up and, so, you know, and, and it's like realizes that it's not as bad as it see, it could be, uh, which is an interesting kind of thing that humans do. Um, being as bad as it could be, right? Like it could be, there's an outbreak in e of Ebola in South Africa right now. Now we can be going through some crazy stuff, right? Um, so yeah, just try to be grateful. Um, and yeah, I'm going to let you all go. Y'all have a wonderful day and, uh, yeah, thank you for watching.